Hi there. I really don't know why people buy almond milk. I stopped drinking milk like five years ago because I started to realize that it's actually made of pus. My favorite thing to drink in the world is milk. I love it. I can glug milk better than and faster than I can drink water. But I stopped drinking it about five, six years ago because I could drink like three liters a day easily. I decided that I wouldn't be the big consumer of milk. In fact, I wouldn't consume milk at all. And I don't, so I sort of got over that addiction. But I do enjoy milk once in a while. So the best thing that you can do is go for a coconut milk, which is my favorite, or almond milk, which is quite popular. And a few months ago, my friend came from Canada and she brought an almond milk and it was like fortified and I tried it and and it was disgusting. Why do people buy almond milk? I think almond milk is like $4 or $5 for a carton, maybe $3.50, I don't know. But this whole bag cost me $12. It was 6,000 colony. And there's quite a few cups. I only need a cup of almonds to make a whole jug. So it's really quite economical and very easy. So basically the really hard part of this is you need to think a day ahead. So it's not quite as convenient, but it's certainly better for you. It tastes way better. So I make about uh, like one cup of almonds. So I'm gonna soak these overnight and then we'll take a look at them. Before the nighttime, they'll get some like scummy stuff on the top of the water. So I'll show you, I'll just scoop that off. And then tomorrow morning, I get to have some homemade almond milk. So it's the evening now and you can see that there's a little bit of film on the top here. So I'm gonna change the water, but I also sometimes make it with the skin still on it, and sometimes I like it really white looking like milk, so I take the skin off. And once they've soaked for a while, it's pretty easy just to take the skin off. Plus, there's less bits when you put it through the blender. This is not a necessary step. There, so I took out the water, so I'm gonna finish. Ooh, do you hear that thunder? Thunder here is so much different than the thunder in Toronto. I guess the air is cold in Toronto, so the thunder just snaps. And here it rolls and rolls and rolls. It's pretty cool, I like it. All the peels off, came off really easily, and this is what I have left. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pour water in the rest of this, and I'm just gonna put it in the fridge like that. And then tomorrow morning, I'll have some fresh milk. It doesn't take anything and it's cheap and it's way more delicious than buying it. So it's the next day and I have my almonds that have been soaking actually in the fridge overnight and there's not much scum on the top of the water because I took the skins off last night. I also have this sift here. Um, this is like a piece of linen that was sewn by my friend into a bag with like a little ring on the end. I put it through there afterwards so we'll show you those in there. Obvious pie, I'm gonna put water and some vanilla. So that cup of almonds turns into, for me, a whole jug of almond milk. In fact, I could even put more, a little extra. So that's quite a bit of almond milk that it makes. I'm gonna take a little bit of vanilla. Yeah, just a few drops. Turn it on. I don't make it go too long because I don't want to totally pulverize the bits in there. I still want there to be bits in there that would float around that would separate from the rest of the liquid. Mmm, look at that, it's so good. All bubbly. So we go like this, like this. So now I have to sift it. Now I take it out of there and put it in a jug. So now I just pour this into here. And I have a beautiful jug of milk ready to use, which I'm very, very pleased about. 
So I'm gonna make some porridge with raisins and eat this. Including getting this beautiful milk from this whole process. There's also this amazing bits of almond in here. So what you can use these almond bits for is a really excellent body exfoliant. So you get some not only goodness for your insides, but this is pretty good for your outside too. It feels really nice, let me show you here. Okay, so here it is, it's really beautiful. This is what you're left with. This is just bits of almonds and it's delicious. Let's try it. You could probably make a really nice dessert out of that. Actually, I should do that. That's really nice. Um, oh my God. That's actually delicious. If you leave the, the peel on the almonds, it's a really good exfoliant. But if you take the peel off the almonds, this is actually a wonderful texture and taste to cook with. Especially if you're a vegan because you're always looking for new beautiful things to create. And this almost has a meaty quality to it. So, um, mm, it's really wonderful. Man, that's really good. I'm gonna create something wonderful with it. Ciao. So that's the proper way to have on the milk, much better than buying it in the stores.